What Merry a year this has been, <laughs> 2020. Merry Christmas, everyone, and we all hope that 2021 will be an improvement over 2020, yes, right? let's hope so. We hope you all are uh, healthy out there and uh, staying safe. Um, Today is the day after Christmas, so it is actually Boxing Day <laughs> for some of you. We just wanted to, uh, to take a minute and sit in front of our tree here. And uh, with Riley, she's anxious to leave. And she doesn't uh, have her little Christmas outfit on, but that's okay. Yeah. Right? But, um, <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. We just want to take a minute and thank you guys, all of our subscribers, all of our viewers, all the people who like and comment and share our videos and just come with us on our journeys. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to thank you guys and wish you the, the best of uh, health and happiness for the next year. Um, and we just wanted to kind of review over what the, where we've been because a lot of you folks are new to our channel and may not have uh, <coughs> seen uh, what we were able to do um, earlier in the year. Earlier in the year, pre-COVID. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, where did it all start? Uh, it was actually February, right? Yes, we went to... Um, it seems like two years ago, but it was really this year. It still. really was. Yeah. We went to Gulf Shores, Alabama for our first trip of 2020. That's right. And uh, it's before, it was in February, and believe it or not, it was before anybody really thought anything about COVID. We never even heard about it then. Um, might have been some blip on the radar, you know, in other countries, but it certainly wasn't an issue here. So we took our annual southern trip, mm -hmm. and instead of going to Florida this year, we went to Alabama. Shores, Alabama. <laughs> yep. And while we were down there, we stayed at the, the um, Gulf Shore Luxury RV Park. Uh, which is which was really nice. Um, we got to stay. Uh, it was what a couple blocks from the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really nice. And it was there along the wetlands, mm -hmm. uh, so it was real pretty there. Yeah, very um, nice. And while we were there, we we basically just did a lot of beach walking. Mm -hmm. And one problem is they don't allow puppies on the beach. But we were able to. They have um, like a concrete walkway, so we were able to take her a lot yes. on that. And um, so mm -hmm. she she got some good walks in down there. And then remember we went to Foley and got that root beer float? Oh, yes. That was pretty fun. Yes, yeah. yes. That was a cute little town. Yep. And we did spend a day or so over in uh, Fairhope. Fairhope. And that's where it's like a Mardi Gras. A little yeah. Mardi like Gras a, town. A New Orleans style. That was, that was pretty yes. neat. Yes. Um, and even we took a trip to Stonehenge while we were there. <laughs> we did. We took the RV across the pond. <laughs> And we visited Stonehenge, and it was quite a, quite magnificent. We went. And they even had al uh, not alligators, dinosaurs there. They dangerous, did. very yes. very dangerous, very, very dangerous dinosaurs mm -hmm. there that we got to experience. Mm -hmm. Right, but then and then the COVID hit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's just so great to be back in the great outdoors again. It is. It back is camping. so nice, isn't it, Riley? Yes. Oh. All the campgrounds uh, and everything was shut down for a couple of months. Yeah. I guess it was pretty much all of March and April. Yeah, yeah. so we were kind of homebound. Yep, yeah. and we were just trying to stay safe like everyone else. And uh, But we did, you know, the, the nice thing was in our area, they did not close down the um, walking trails and our parks. And they encouraged people to get out and exercise and social distance. And um, so we took advantage of that. We yeah. did a lot of outdoor stuff in our area. Um, and you know didn't feel like we had to be caged up in our house because we were able to get out and enjoy the outdoors and, yeah and be away from other folks yeah we went out proximity. for walks a lot um, mm -hmm. a lot yep um but then in june a really cool thing happened our bikes arrived remember was it june or may no it was yeah. june okay, our was june. electric xp bikes yes. arrived so we had a little diversion there because getting out on the greenways with your bike <laughs> is another way of of getting outside and getting some exercise without being uh, <laughs> in close proximity to mm -hmm. uh, others and stuff. And so we we did uh, get to have some fun. There's yeah. miles and miles of greenway trails in our area here. And um, so we got to do that yeah. a lot too. We got you know? to get out on the bikes a lot. Yep. yep. And finally in June, I guess it was middle of June or so, things start opening back up again. Mm -hmm. Campgrounds start opening again. And we decided to take some more trips. And um, you know, the cool thing about RV travel is in something like a pandemic, it's it's kind of nice because you have your own place to stay, right? Mm -hmm. You have your own bedroom. Your own kitchen. Your own <laughs> kitchen to cook in. You're not eating out and having to eat out in restaurants. Mm -hmm. You have your own bathroom. You're not using public 
facilities there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pretty much stay social distance from everybody. Yeah. And um, so I think that's why the RV sales have gone through the roof this year, <laughs> despite everything going on. I think. Because, I mean, the alternatives of staying in hotels or being on a plane or being on a cruise ship, being in, you know, like um, buses or anything like that where you're around a lot of people, that's just not a good option. But mm -hmm. being in an RV, you can get to the great outdoors yeah. and enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> and stay safe. So we just kind of continued to rock and roll with that when things opened up. Yeah. And the first thing we did was a trip to the mountains of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So we stayed in our own state, you know, and we did find out that, um, you know, I mean, whichever state you live in, every state has so much to offer. It, and you can does. really just do so much within your own state. And we still explore. haven't seen everything in our no, own state. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Nope. So um, we went out near Asheville, mm -hmm. and um, first off, we stopped at a Harvest Host on the way out. So we. Um, got to enjoy a little farm. It was called Shady Oaks Farm and that was a really nice place. We got to pick fresh blueberries and get some eggs. So we had a really good time there. We just stayed for one night and then we headed on to Campfire Lodgings which is near Asheville and it's on the top of a mountain. Beautiful place. So, yeah, so we got to enjoy that. And We have, um, a, we have a whole uh, review video of Campfire Lodgings. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really an awesome place. We recommend it if you're in the Asheville area. Um, so check that out. And, uh, and from yeah. there, mm -hmm. we did a lot of um, side trips. Mm -hmm. We went to Roan Mountain. Well, no, no. First, we went to Max Patch. Oh, we. <laughs> it's been a long time. We were at Max Patch many, many years ago, right. and it was beautiful. We wanted to go back. Just this beautiful meadow, bald top of the mountain, you know, with this 360 degree view, and the Appalachian Trail cuts through there, and we just remember it being really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. We're going to go up there and make a video <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> And the further we, first of all, it was like five miles on this crazy dirt road, gravel road. Very crazy road. Yeah. And the further we got up, the cloudier it got. <laughs> and <laughs> then it started we were raining. <laughs> pretty much up in the mount, up in the uh, clouds. Uh -huh. And um, so we got up on top, and we couldn't see five feet in front of our face. <laughs> and it was freezing so, cold. <laughs> yes. So poor Riley was shivering. And, and we're all um, shivering. <laughs> yeah. But um, but then a couple days later. We went to Roan Mountain, which mm -hmm. is on the, the border of uh, North Carolina mm -hmm. and Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So we were at Carver Gap, <laughs> and we hiked to the top of that, right in the peak of rhododendrons. Yes, that was beautiful. Yeah, and That's so, and it was cloudy at first, but when we got up on top, the, the kind of cleared off, and we got some really great views mm -hmm. up there. So that was that was an amazing time. We have a video about that if you haven't seen that one. We just really enjoyed being up there. <laughs> Uh, that was just a great memory from this past summer. Yes. Yeah. And then on our way back, we drove on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and everybody said, stop at Graveyard Fields. It's so pretty. There's waterfalls and everything. So we were able to find Graveyard Fields. There really wasn't a sign. Exactly. There. We missed it. Yes. Yeah. It's like one of the ec one of the mileposts mm -hmm. on the Blue Ridge Parkway. There's so many different overlooks, like every few miles. And this just happens to be one that has a whole hiking trails and waterfalls and it's easy to miss. It There's is. like no signs, you just have to know where it is. It's so like, we hiked you know. down there and it was a little rainy and misty yeah. that day too, but we hiked down and um, saw the falls, so that was, that was, cool. that was a nice that was time really there. Cool. Uh, after Campfire Lodgings, we went for the second half, we went to a Mountain Stream RV Park. So for Campfire Lodgings time. was on the top of the mountain looking over the valley and, and um, Mountain Stream is in the valley mm -hmm. on a trout stream. Mm -hmm. And we were back right up to it. I mean, we could open our window at night and hear the stream rushing by. Mm -hmm. Really awesome. And that was the second time we've stayed at Mountain yes. Stream. So yeah, we did a new visit. review on the campground there for 2020. And, and we did have a chance to visit the highlands of North Carolina. We were in Cashiers, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And that, while we were there, we went and visited Silver Falls. Mm -hmm. But I understand there's, we just didn't have a lot of time. There's, there's so many waterfalls in that area. North Carolina is like... There's so many waterfalls that you can hike through. There's literally hundreds of them. Yeah. And, and just some are right off the road, some you have to hike back to. Um, some are just massively, massive water flow, and some are just like little trickles coming down. But it's just really, if you like to hike waterfalls, North Carolina, Western North Carolina <laughs> is the place to go. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. So then in July, we um, did a Harvest Host um, Virginia Vineyard Tour. So we stayed two different at two different harvest hosts. So that was a little bit uh, overplayed because 
Virginia actually has like hundreds of vineyards. Oh, we yeah. only went to two of them, so it's not really a tour. Yeah, well. <laughs> but yeah. we call it that. <laughs> <laughs> but we did stay at some cool harvests. We right? did, we mm -hmm. did. We stayed at Mountain Cove Vineyards um, for one night and met a um, couple friends there. Mm -hmm. And then, and that was more down in the valley. And then we went to Virginia Mountain Vineyards, and that was on top of the mountain, and that was completely different. So yeah, it was, it was completely it, different. It was, it was a was lot fun. of fun. And that was in Fincastle. Um, Virginia Mountain Vineyards was in Fincastle, Virginia. We've really been enjoying our Harvest Host membership, <laughs> mm -hmm. and every year they keep adding more and more locations. So I think in 2021 we'll be using yeah. them a lot. Yeah. as we travel it's really a great way to break up a trip if you're going from point a to point b and you need a place in the middle to stay overnight check in the harvest host because you can get a unique experience mm -hmm. and it's free to stay once you're a member which is really only like i think 75 dollars a year so it's reasonable mm -hmm. and like it's that. free to stay and uh, depending on what the business <coughs> their businesses like vineyards um breweries you know uh, museums farms and now even and golf courses. Golf courses, and you can stay and just you can stay for free and just go in and patronize them, like whatever the visit. They buy a bottle of wine or um, mm -hmm. or you know buy some eggs if it's a farm or whatever you know, and mm -hmm. just just help them out a little bit. And it's really and you get to meet a lot of great people. So we've been really enjoying that membership. Yeah, yeah, we really like that. There's really some unique things out there. Now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then moving on to August, um, we went close, not too far away, to Mount Airy, North Carolina, Pilot Mountain, and we stayed at Mayberry. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with that with the um, Andy Griffith Show. Mm -hmm. um, so we stayed at the Mayberry Campground, and very nearby that is Hanging Rock State Park. So we got to do some hiking and see some more waterfalls. Wow. Mm -hmm. You guys are like nature girls. Where are we, baby? And then more waterfalls at Carter Falls. We went, um, and that wasn't far from there either. That was beautiful so we, there. Yeah. And it's really out of the way. Like, it's out in the middle of the countryside. You feel like you're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And you just pull in, and all of a sudden there's a parking lot and a nice hiking trail down yeah. to the falls. Yeah. Hey guys, we're at the base of Carter Falls. It's just amazing. It feels so good and cool. It's such a hot day. And um, what a beautiful place. To hike down from the trailhead and uh, just hang out in the water here below this old, old waterfall. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the month, we took a local trip to Mebane, North Carolina and stayed at a really nice RV park called Jones Station. We have a video about that. And um, we hiked Okanichi Mountain Trail with some friends of ours, Ron and Andrea. So that was a fun time. It was very, very hot that day. What do you think day. of this? <laughs> you don't want me to put my arm around you? Honey? No. What's the matter? <laughs> Where's the romance? The romance is gone. I'm ready for a nice cold shower. That day. Oh, yeah. Extremely hot. I think it was in the 90s, but um, we had a really good time. And then um, we visited historic Edenton, I think about a week or so, a week or two later. And we spent a long weekend there in, in Edenton, North Carolina, and we got to see a lot of nice um, nice scenery and, and the lighthouse there. So that was fun. How's your coffee drink? You have it's the frozen it's chai. A, it's a yeah, frosted chai. It's really good. And I have frosted coffee. We have a scone. <laughs> I have to say that I feel like we're in a Hallmark movie here, you know? I know. It's like small town America. Everybody knows everybody. Well, they don't know us, but <laughs> when you're walking in the store, everybody knows everybody. It's just really cool. They yeah. know what they do. You know, all these store owners, they know their customers, and they're, they know what they want. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just it's just so different. It is. It's, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yep, and we took a break in September. I guess we didn't do anything in September. Yeah, I don't know. We what couldn't find any you? videos. I don't know what happened in September. <laughs> but in October, we did our annual hurricane trip to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> It's our annual <laughs> hurricane trip to Myrtle Beach, <laughs> and this year we have hurricane, Delta. Hurricane Delta coming through. Well, it's not really going to come through Myrtle Beach. It will be off course, but I'm sure we'll get some rain. Probably. <laughs> and we call it that because it always seems like when we get down to Myrtle Beach in October, it's a beautiful time of year to be there. The water's warm and it's just cool nights. <laughs> but it's also hurricane season, and last year we went, we got hit by 
Hurricane Nestor, or at least a tropical storm, came yeah. through and just about blew our RV over. <laughs> As usual, we're risking our lives for you, our viewers, to bring you the best footage from Ocean Lake, South Carolina. I mean, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Ocean Lake. And then uh, this year we had um, Hurricane Delta come through. Mm -hmm. But it really was uh, just a lot of rain. Yeah, uh, and, and then it cleared off. Then the it next cleared day, off. And so it was fine. It was very nice. But we had a great time. We stayed at the Barefoot RV Resort down there, and it was really. And we didn't even bring our car. We just had a golf cart and we drove yeah. around where. So it was check fun. that video out. Yeah. <laughs> then we went to Elkin, North Carolina again. <laughs> mm -hmm. We stayed at Riverwalk RV Park, uh, Riverwalk Park on the Yadkin River, and we were. We were like one of the closest sites to the river and the walkway. It was beautiful. And it's it a was fairly really new nice. uh, RV park, mm -hmm. I think a year old. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of fun, so we'll definitely be back. Yeah. So yeah. while we were there, we visited Stone Mountain State Park and did some hiking there. And we also. Most went people know about the Stone Mountain Georgia. in Georgia. Mm -hmm. But we have our own Stone Mountain State Park here yeah. in North Carolina. <laughs> and a lot of people, even people who live in North Carolina, don't realize that. I know. So, because uh, every time we talked about it, everybody assumed we met Georgia. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. It was yeah. A good hike. yeah, it was really yeah. good. And then there were waterfalls there, too. So, mm -hmm. we hiked up the mountain and then we hiked back down and went down even farther to the waterfalls. Yes, so lots of steps. The only thing remaining is the 600 steps to get back to the car. <laughs> we're glad we came down because it's a beautiful view. We almost did because we were getting tired having to carry her all the way up these steps and we're like, we really want to go down to the lowest part, but I'm really glad we did. Yeah, it's really pretty down here. And then we visited Blowing Rock, which was really crowded, so we kind of split that up. We went back two, two times and um, we went in the town and walked around and then we actually went to the Blowing Rock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, North Carolina in the fall, it's beautiful there and it's a, it's a big attraction, so people actually book their places sometimes a year in advance. And it's usually pretty crowded, especially on weekends. Mm -hmm. We were surprised. We pulled into Blowing Rock, and it took us like an hour just to find a parking place. I, know. I think we didn't even park in a legal place. It was at a school. <laughs> I don't think we were supposed to park the there. The traffic was horrendous, but other people were, were parking there. So, so we did find a spot, and I was so hungry. We were looking. Let's just get something to eat first. Everything was like a two-hour wait, and you know, it was it was nuts. It was so, <laughs> and we came back like, on a Tuesday, and it was much better. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, much better. Yep. So then, to wrap it up, in November, we went uh, locally again to uh, Yates Mill Historic Park. And you wanted to say a little bit about Yeah, Yates, Yates, Mill? Yates Mill is just a local park here in Raleigh. And Yates Mill um, was, was built like 20 years before the founding of our country in 1756 or something like that, 1755. Like that. So um, it, it's the oldest surviving structure in our county, and it's just a really neat little park. We did that a nice fall hike there, so we have a video about that. Um, and then we also went to the Eno River, mm -hmm. which is a very historic river with the Native American tribes that lived there, and it was just fun to. By then, all the leaves were off the trees. Pretty much, yeah. It's, but it was still a really warm day, and yeah. it was nice it to was be there. Yeah, it was very nice, so we had, and we had fun there. Yeah. And in between that, we did a little bit more biking on our yeah. electric XP bikes. We figured out how to hook Riley on the back. Yeah. And she really loves riding that thing. I mean, we she, didn't know how she, she would do it. She looks all around. And yeah. We <laughs> she thought she yeah, might she try to jump out. It. I mean, we do have her strapped in, but we thought she might kind of freak out a little. But no, she loves she it. She loves it. So we've been taking her on our bike rides, and we did make a video about one ride we took along the, the Falls River there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so we just hope that you guys will be inspired by this, that you'll get out in 2021, even if we have lockdowns and stuff, try to get out and go for walks and get, get outdoors. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and just, you know, you, there's plenty of options that you can do that are away from people, mm -hmm. uh, but you can still enjoy the sunshine and the fresh air and the and nature around you. Mm -hmm. and, and even if you live in cold climates, there's beautiful snow. I mean, just get outside. We just encourage you guys. Definitely. Um, even with all this stuff going on, we still managed to, to get a lot of adventure in this year. Mm -hmm, we did. Yeah. So we're hoping that next year will, will be uh, an improvement for everyone. Yes. And we wish <laughs> you all, so and thank you again for watching and following us on our journey. And hopefully we'll get to meet up with you, some of you guys on the road as we're in your area. So take care, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>